Anna and welcome to episode one of my video blog for Dialogues of the Carmelites. This episode I'll be conducting some interviews and showing you clips from our Vancouver Art Gallery concert as well as the opera tea. I hope you enjoy. I'm here with Chelsea who is performing the role of Blanche. What is it like singing the music of Poulenc? Have you done it before? No, this is my first encounter with Poulenc and I can guarantee that I'll be singing more Poulenc, <laughs> probably some of his art song just after this. Um, Poulenc knows his singers. He uh, he writes for the language, and this um, this opera was actually written first in Italian. So um, he favors very lyrical melodies and flowing. You know, it's very like it's almost romantic music, even mm -hmm. though it was composed in a time in 1957, in a time where you know people were doing um, stranger things, like a experimenting with atonal music, etc. So. Um, I can say that singing Polenk's music has been, um, well, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And he also has a way of telling you um, depth about your character, telling you the story of your character. Because the thing with Polenk is that um, a lot of the time the text will be saying something and Polenk's music will be telling you the actual feeling of the character, the right. actual... the orchestra tells the truth. That's, that's exactly it. So when the character's lying, I mean, you'll know because the music will tell you and in, in Blanche's case, that is, so, that is so important because oftentimes she's hiding her fear um, from the audience. So she'll say that she's not scared of something, but she actually is. She actually is experiencing a bout of anxiety. So. Thank you so much. <laughs> Francesca, who is playing Mère Marie, and she is also the one of our costume work studies. And I'm also here with Lovey, who is our costume intern. Can you tell me about when the opera is set and what kind of costumes are featured? So the opera is set in the late um, 1700s, right before the. It starts right before the French Revolution, and the rest of the opera is pretty much set during the French Revolution. So the choristers are the sort of normal people who did. We're not nobility, so they're very poor and kind of grungy costumes, which was really fun to put together, and <laughs> we had a really good time doing it. Um, but then, and in the opening scene, you get uh, you have Blanche, which is she then becomes a nun, but they start off their their no her father's a nobleman, etc. So they're already kind of wanted, but um, it starts off in the house. So they have you have all these beautiful. Costumes for the men are like in really nice suits, and you have the nice, big, beautiful gowns. And at the time, um, this pretty much around the time of Marie Antoinette. So, mm. if you want an idea of what they will probably look like, it'll be kind of like that. <laughs> and do you have a favorite costume you could show me? Well, we have a before and after shot we can show you. Oh. So, this is our before. And, and that's as you can Blanche. See, that's Blanche. And as you can see, it's very plain. There's not much happening. But Lovey can show you what she's done to this. It's not okay. finished yet. I'm still working on it, however. <laughs> so this is what... Oh, right, here, it's quite a you. difference. <laughs> this is what Blanche, the other Blanche is wearing. And we needed a dress that was in a similar style. Mm -hmm. So I took the plain, ordinary dress and this is what I have so far. Wow, that's it's not wonderful. <laughs> I'm here with Gabrielle, who is the concert mistress for the opera. And what is it like um, playing the music of Poulenc? Um, this is my first time playing any Poulenc. Mm. Um, I just find the harmonies to be so rich and lush that it's just really beautiful to play and really calming and everything. So. Do you have a favorite part of the opera? 
Um, probably my favorite part would be the Ave Maria. Um, the orchestra doesn't get to play very much in it, but it's just so beautiful to have the singers and... Yeah, that's a really beautiful part. Play. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Dialogues of the Carmelites is running in the Chan Center from February 7th to the 10th. I hope to see you there and stay tuned for more episodes. Bye!